So I run into a little bit of a minor road rage situation every morning when I get out of uh, my apartment because of the way the roads are set up. We have to make a turn onto a highway, a divided highway. And often, I live with a lot of young people in this area and often the person in front of me uh, doesn't want to uh, turn because they're just too scared and uh, I'm often tempted to uh, honk my horn at them but then I remember years ago when I was the driver in front and people were honking at me so sometimes lately I've been giving people the thumbs down because I've been I, I really love that gesture ever since I became the Peter Dislike show and um, but then it taught me an interesting lesson that um, everybody has different comfort levels, different lifestyles, different philosophies. And it just goes to show, why are we pushing everybody to go back to the office this year? You're just going to invite more conflict, more harassment. Last year, it was all about whether or not you wanted to get this poison injected into your body. Lately, that hasn't been so much in vogue anymore. You know, last year when... when the debate on whether or not we need to force people to get poison injected up their arms was going on. It hit me that, you know, if this is such a human rights issue, what about the issue of people who don't want to put other things in their body, right? Try to go to an office party and not want to put other kinds of poison in your body. It just You just run into a brick wall sometimes, depending on where you work, right? Uh, where I work, people were a little bit more educated, but I've worked at other places where it didn't go so well. And um, some people have different ideas of how they want to take a vacation. Like, for example, this past week, I ran into a barrier because I wanted to take the day off after the Super Bowl. And when my colleagues found out it was to leave the Phoenix area to avoid all the drama, the Super Bowl is being played in Phoenix this year. And, I have anxiety attacks from all that noise and traffic. So I'm thinking on Friday after work, I want to drive out of the Phoenix area and not come back until Monday. But I wanted to take Monday off just in case, just in case um, I, I, I'm not sure about the traffic the day after. I want to, I want to drive home like Monday afternoon if possible because there's going to be a lot of drunk drivers on the road. I don't want to deal with that stuff. And uh, my colleagues just thought that was such a waste of taking the day off after the Super Bowl. They didn't say it that way, obviously. But you can just see that you run into a wall over there. And it just goes to show that the, the more we try to jam people together against their will, uh, the, more, the, the more harassment there's going to be, the more disagreement there is. And ultimately, the more conflict, the more workplace drama, and the less work that's going to get done, right?